This is lecture outline 14, and we're going to be talking about solutions. And specifically in this part, we're going to be talking about making and diluting a solution. And my abbreviation for solution is SOL apostrophe N, and I'll use that throughout. And first, we're going to go over some solution terminology. First, a review. What is a solution? A solution is a homogeneous mixture of two or more materials. And uh, first of all, it's a mixture. So these are mixed together. And second of all, it's homogeneous. And homogeneous, if you remember from our earlier work, means uh, that every place in the solution looks the same. Right, homo means same, uh, same everywhere. And <clears throat> an example of a simple solution might be salt water. So salt dissolved in water. So we could take uh, and make a salt, uh, or let's call it a table salt solution. And we would look inside the table salt solution and there would be, it would look everywhere the same, but inside that solution would be H2O molecules, and there would also be sodium ions and chloride ions because the sodium chloride would be dissolved, and they'd all be mixed evenly. You wouldn't be able to look at some place like and see a pile of sodium ions uh, because it's homogeneous. And the other example is a heterogeneous solution, and a heterogeneous solution would be something like Rocky Road ice cream, where in some points there would be uh, ice cream and in some place there'd be chocolate chunks. And so there'd be differences there. You couldn't go anywhere in the solution and see the same thing. So that's what a solution is. And again, that's review. The solute is any component of a solution present in a smaller amount. And in our table salt solution, those would be the sodium and the chloride ions or we could also say that sodium chloride was our solute. And the solvent would be the component of a solution present in the greatest amount, and that would be our water. Now, uh, two terms we're going to be interested in are a dilute solution and a concentrated solution. A dilute solution has a low concentration, and a concentrated solution has a high concentration. And my example here is I have a cup of coffee. Mmm, that's good. Uh, and um, oftentimes we use the terms strong or weak to talk about what a, whether a, how a coffee tastes. But I think a better example would be does your coffee, or you better terminology would be, is your coffee dilute or concentrated? So concentrated coffee would be the equivalent of strong because it's got a lot of things dissolved in it, and those things make it concentrated. And of course, dilute coffee. So uh, as moving forward, hopefully, uh, <laughs> if you want to freak people out a little bit, you'll say, hey, uh, this coffee is very concentrated. I love it. 